And the day has come. My limited edition copies of Fire in the Pasture and Field Notes on Language and Kinship just arrived in the mail. Here I have both copies side by side. Limited edition, paperbacks. Uh, it's just awesome to see them next to each other. There's the, uh, the cover of the slip cover. The paper feels really awesome. Um, handmade paper. You can see the, I don't know if you can see the texture, but the textures are just amazing in it. Um, it's so awesome. The look, the, the look and feel of it just makes me giddy to see. It's covered in brown Asahi silk. Very smooth. Can you hear that? Sounds like silk because it is silk. And here are the copies of the book. Um, field Notes on Language and Kinship is bound in darker paper and fire in the pasture with the lighter paper. Again, the feel, the texture of it's just amazing. It's beautiful. I'll slip them out of the case here, slip them out of the slip case, which was handmade by Glenn Nelson, again, from Mormon Artist Group. And there's the front cover. Awesome. And open it up here. It's kind of hard to open, it's tight, which is good. I like that in a new book tight, tightly bound. And look at the pictures here. The pictures are just amazing in color in real life here. You can't really tell well, but they're really very clean and crisp and awesome. There's that word again. So there's the, the first image. And let's see. Second one. Plain Air Roadscapes. That's what that one's called. Let's see. Where's the next one? Chasing the long white cloud in color. Woo! Beautiful. Look at that color. The, uh, the that one that is a crimson honey sky comes from a poem in here. Here we have it across the Hokianga. February through March 2000. Crimson honey sky across the Hokianga. Crimson honey tide but no waka to pierce the bay's narrow hips. Crimson honey sand across the Hokianga, crimson honey sky, but only one cumulus to lick the bay's narrow tongue. Crimson honey night across the Hokianga, but no moon to walk empty shores, sip crimson honey tea. So that's the uh, inspiration, part of the inspiration behind that picture. Now, let's see, the next picture we have here is Panis Angelicus. Let me get there. Another beautiful one. Love the look, love the feel, etc., etc. I'm going to say it again. Awesome. One more in there. Sticky pages. Somewhere in the brush and animal stirs, the title of that picture. And a couple more, a few more actually. Bore you with my excitement over these pictures. Eden's Half Light. I love that one. Love the look of that one. I love all of them actually. Bethesda. This one's kind of fun. Inspired by a poem by Doug Talley about him having a dream where he rode across the ocean on a bike. <laughs> kind of a fun poem. And let's see, uh, somewhere the gods step out of their hiding place. I like that one. The Barbie. I just love the combination of the Barbie and the J. Kirk Richards sacred paintings. Beautiful. And here in the back we have the colophon. Signed by me, there's me, and Susan Kruger Barber. And I got number nine, copy number nine. Love potion number nine, whatever, right? And I love how it's imperfectly level here, the pages, imperfectly level, or not imperfectly bound, it's beautifully bound. Just how the pages aren't level. The hand bound feel and nature of the book. And then fire in the pasture, hard bound here. Pretty awesome. Just hard, crisp binding. So we don't have the paperback next to the paperback. 
That's how those look together. Now field notes on language and kinship together. Hardbound one, a lot thicker. Anyway, just wanted to share my excitement over this new acquisition. And uh, I think, I believe Glenn still has some of the special editions of, or limited editions available on mormonartistgroup.com. Go there, check them out. Pay a price for, for the really high quality work that Glenn has done. And also, again, these are available on Amazon, so go check them out.